Hello, hello, I'm Jennifer Nascimento with English Outside the Box, and you're watching a special holiday edition of 5 Minute English. This edition of 5 Minute English is special because it's a little different than how we usually do things around here. This video is looking at the highlights of 2016. I'm so happy with all of the information that I've shared with you throughout this year, and I asked some students to tell me what some of their favorite lessons were. That's why this week I'm sharing with you some of my favorite highlights from 2016 and sharing with you 12 lessons to help you take your English skills to the next level. This video is not going to teach all 12 lessons because we only have five minutes. You can find all of the lessons, the details, and everything you need to take your skills to the next level on the blog now. You can visit englishoutsidethebox.com slash blog. The full description and the exact link is also in the description of this video below. On the blog, you're also gonna learn about the traditional song that inspired this video. You might have heard it, on the first day of Christmas. So on the first day of your English lesson, you are going to learn about your learning style. You're gonna take a quick quiz and you're gonna identify what kind of learner you are. By finding this out, you're gonna be able to do activities that use your strengths to learn and maximize every learning opportunity. You can apply what you learned to the rest of the lessons that you get with these 12 lessons of Christmas. On the second day of English lessons, you are going to review some pronunciation. First, you're going to read a guest post from Elena Montanono, and you are going to learn about stress-free stresses in English. English stress and understanding English word stresses is crucial to your pronunciation and mastering your English speaking skills. In addition to that lesson, you are going to learn a little bit about the ER er sound, which is much, much more than words just ending in the letters er. The er sound in English is so common, so very important for you to understand and use correctly. Those two pronunciation lessons are waiting for you on the blog. The lesson is going to help with your grammar skills. This is going to allow you to speak, write, read, and listen better because grammar is important for that basic fundamental understanding of English. On the blog, you are going to perfect your perfect tenses, as well as understanding the English so, to, either, and neither. Next, you're going to improve your vocabulary. You're going to learn about different ways to style your hair. Additionally, you'll learn some idioms with the word throat. As a new year comes, I want to give you some tips to start out 2017 strong. So the next three lessons are going to give you some top tips to improve your English skills. We have five tips from an English learner about how you can improve your skills. As a teacher, I give you all kinds of information. However, coming from an English learner, it might resonate with you a little more. Additionally, you're gonna learn about five ways you can study without a private tutor. This is important because you might not be in a position that you can have a private tutor, so this lesson will help you. And finally, you're gonna learn about my top 10 apps to improve your English skills. Download those apps and start 2017 strong. Finally, I wanna help your writing skills and I want to help you pass the TOEFL exam if that is on your 2017 goal list. So the 11th lesson that you're going to get in these 12 English lessons of Christmas is a TOEFL writing post, giving you all the information you need to write the perfect TOEFL essay. Finally, it's Christmas, so no English video is complete without some Christmas vocabulary. So the final lesson, your 12th English lesson of Christmas from English Outside the Box this year is Christmas vocabulary with pictures for you to use this holiday season. Christmas is right around the corner, so I hope these 12 lessons get you through this crazy holiday season. If you don't celebrate Christmas, that is definitely okay. Only the final lesson actually reviews some Christmas vocabulary. However, knowing this will help you start conversations or talk about a holiday season with somebody who does celebrate, so it is helpful for your overall skills. 
Remember, the learning never stops with these five minute English videos. If you want to continue learning with me, Jennifer at English Outside the Box, you have a couple of options. You can sign up for private online Skype lessons if you want to take your conversation skills to the next level, or you can sign up for my weekly newsletter. These newsletter subscribers get two English lessons sent to their inbox every single week. If you're interested in Skype lessons, you can visit my website at englishoutsidethebox.com slash learn English. And if you'd like to sign up for my newsletter, you can visit englishoutsidethebox.com slash sign up. Either way, I hope I can continue helping you on your English journey. I hope you learned a lot from this video. I hope you enjoy your 12 lessons and I will see you next week for our regular return of 5-Minute English. Happy studying! Don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe to this channel to get access to weekly videos posted every Tuesday.